Web design is a good example of an industry that has managed to seamlessly integrate gamification into just about every aspect. By adding game-like elements to a website, businesses can keep users hooked and coming back for more. In this video, we'll take a look at five gamification examples in action and explain why they're so effective. But before we get into it, if you're into all things gamification, then consider subscribing for regular content. Let's do it. If you're new to gamification or want to learn about it, I'll put a link in the description explaining everything you need to know. But in a sentence, gamification is adding game-like features, mechanics, and dynamics into a non-game context. This could be an actual game, interactive leaderboards, progression systems, and much more. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at some examples. First up is LinkedIn. Okay, so you might not think of this as a game mechanic, but LinkedIn implements a mechanic designed to encourage users to complete building out your profile. It treats filling out each part of your profile a bit like an achievement and gives you a status bar to show just how full or not full the profile is. It's designed to trigger your completionist instinct. Also, people with more detailed profiles are perceived to be better networkers according to these sites. It's sound advice on one hand, but it also stings your competitive instincts a bit. This is a great example of how a feedback system can encourage users to complete a task. Next up is Interland. Interland is a game designer's dream. It's literally a Google web page filled with mini games as a gamified learning initiative. These video games are designed to teach internet safety and courtesy as users play, and are primarily directed at children. This is not an approach that can be used for most sites. However, for most educational sites, introducing play and some interactivity into learning a concept can help with knowledge retention. Next is Twitter. Twitter is one of the most commonly used social media platforms, and because of this, it's important for businesses to understand how to use it to their advantage. One way Twitter uses gamification is through its poll system. Polls are a great way to get feedback from users, they're also a great way to engage with followers and get them involved with your brand. It's also recently introduced a Spaces feature, which allows users to create an audio-only environment to have group conversations. Whoever starts the group can assign speakers, and listeners can virtually pop up their hands if they want to speak to the group. Our penultimate pick is Reddit. Reddit is one website that has been gamified from the start. The site is made up of user-submitted content in the form of links, images, videos, and text posts. So it's important that the community are the ones curating and organizing the content. When users submit posts, others can upvote or downvote these submissions. The most popular submissions rise to the top of their respective subreddits, while less popular submissions sink to the bottom. This system creates a competitive environment where users are constantly vying for the top spot. It encourages social interaction as users comment and discuss submissions. Every Reddit profile has a karma score. This essentially gauges the quality of the user's online comments and submissions to the site based on the downvoting and upvoting explained earlier. And our final pick is Todoist. Like many project management tools, Todoist has created a simplified yet engaging interface that allows users to fill in their ongoing tasks and then check them off upon completion. What sets Todoist apart from the others, however, is its use of goal visualization. So, rather than just saying good job whenever a task is completed, Todoist offers karma rewards based on how productive customers are. Todoist even offers a which productivity method is right for you quiz on their website to help you search for the best method to approaching tasks as an individual. And that's all for today's video. If you're looking for ways to add a little more fun to your business website and engage visitors, get in touch with us today at gamify.com. And if you've enjoyed the video, drop us a like and subscribe for regular content. Have a good one. Bye.